in the whole preparation well begun is half done you have gone through five years of grilling efforts there right so naturally you are the best person to suggest the newcomers to come so what message you would like to give to the beginners ki how to begin so that they don't have to struggle so much uh, this is a very important question because uh, most of the people have this doubt uh, when to start how to start yeah. as when to start i have already discussed uh, graduation uh, the person should focus on that and then they should start preparing for upsc then w- how to start that is a question that need to uh, be focused upon now the thing is uh, first question which comes in uh, the books which need to be studied so ncrts are the basic foundation for upsc so thorough reading of those books is very much required but the point is in ncrt which is uh, how to make it relevant study is very important question of course i think you would like to say about the syllabus yes. if one is going to be thorough to yes so how so please explain something about how relevant is to go through the study of syllabus hmm. uh, syllabus and previous years papers they are these are two things which need to be studied in detail in the starting one two months if you are not able to understand the demand of the paper it will be very difficult for you to study in a right direction for example if you are reading newspapers and you don't know uh, what to read what not to read it will be a waste of time it is important that you can link each and everything which you are reading to the syllabus so that will be helpful in your mains as well as your in prelims so uh, you should uh, by heart the syllabus and you should analyze previous years papers that will give you an idea in what that will give a direction ke okay, odc which way and what are the basic core areas where one has to really focus on because otherwise it is going to be very wide and extensive study all there now here in the uh, reading t- and going through the ncert book that also is a very important question in the mind of most of the student first dilemma is to read old ncert or new ncert have you also gone through this dilemma in ever it was there uh, because few uh, old ncerts are there which are very good like history ncerts are there ancient medieval modern old ncerts i studied from those ncerts they are really good but uh, in my last attempt i read those new ncerts also which are theme based so in C- ncerts are equally good uh, whether they are old or new it depends on person to person so it is a question of making a combination wherever it is required wherever it is required and all uh, depends on the candidate how is going to take right you see in charity book most of the t- how many times you read these in charity books see in the starting i read them twice i remember yes. after that i have not studied that much uh, ncrts but in the starting uh, readings one or two readings you have to be very uh, thorough with those uh, readings y- you need to read them to understand those books uh, just not to complete those books so it becomes very important it makes your base so those two readings are very important then when prelims used to come mains used to come i used to revise some books like geography history i used to take up so uh, that i used to take up when you say revision it do you mean to say that you read the entire book or you had prepared some brief notes on maybe in the book itself in the margin of the space what did you do no no not entire book what we do is when you read something you mark uh, things which are important so in the next reading you pick up those things and then in the next reading you further shorten the things mm-hmm. so uh, in the end it becomes very concise so you can read the whole book e- in half an hour or so so you have to concise the things in every uh, next reading so this becomes very important